All right, guys, I wanted to cover and document the deterioration that the world is facing right now at the hands of radical, insane leftism. And I think that a lot of people, a significant, a very significant population of the United States, largely on the left, but, but uh, there are a surprising number of people still on the right that are, I think, sleepwalking towards a precipice. And the reason is, is because as a society, we don't recognize the threat that we are facing. We don't recognize that we are currently under attack by a mind virus that hates truth and hates reality and is absolutely ravenous. In the last week, it's been nearly impossible to browse Twitter because the left has been calling for the end of democracy, the um, abolition of the United States in uh, being able to vote for who you want. And that was just the beginning. At this point on Twitter, you are seeing a daily gleeful set of psychopathic statements calling for assassination and outright tyranny, born of unfathomable resentment for truth, reality, and civilization, and all of this being done under the banner of virtue that we knew was being flown in 2017, 2018. The left has been infected with this mind virus for a long time, but it's now, it's now reaching fever pitches. Now, there are multiple videos I want, I, I want to create. One, which may be this one, is I'm going to be documenting and analyzing the psychopathic, tyrannical dispositions of the left and showing you currently the seriousness of the situation. And the other being a, a broader picture, and I'm not sure if those videos will blend together because it's difficult to separate the, the um, coming collapse of the housing market with this type of... Uh, mind virus that is preventing good decisions from being made in the institutions of, of, of government. Interest rates are getting very high. Paying down the national debt is, is very soon going to exceed the amount that we spend on defense. And the government simply isn't collecting enough taxes or spending the money appropriately enough to, to cover the expenses that, that the government's incurring. Average people aren't able to afford mortgages. Banks aren't collecting on their loans. We're spending too much money. The government is incompetent and mentally crippled. And we have forces inside the United States that, that hate the individual, hate responsibility, hate objective morality, and call the United States some sort of colonial scourge, a, a corrupt force that is, that is ironically tyrannical, saying as they are the ones who are advocating tyranny. And now I'm going to show you the psychopathic statements of the left on Twitter that can only really be described as demonic. I've just been pressing archive on any post that I see that shows almost beyond comprehension levels of hating reality and morality by the left. Do it, cries this depraved leftist as he shrieks for California to prevent its citizens from voting for the political opponent that he disagrees with. Degenerate leftist woman, four elected Supreme Court justices in, uh, in Colorado don't have the right to take a name off the state's ballot, but five unelected Supreme Court justices have the right, right to strip tens of millions of others for the rights of bodily autonomy. So this degenerate woman is correlating with being able to vote for someone she disagrees with, with taking away rights to bodily autonomy, which is a straw man built on a straw man, and is simultaneously stating in her presupposition that, that suspending democracy and denying, and denying citizens the ability to vote for Trump is virtuous. Here you see a degenerate leftist woman who is known for making a fool of herself, gleefully celebrating removing Trump from the 2024 ballot in Colorado. It's important for you to understand that they, that they were always this evil. They always had this hatred for you, as is the architecture of Marxism. Here you see demonic and on account, degenerately feminine username, celebrating removing Trump from the ballot, calling him a parasite, equating the opposition to their political movement to be subhuman and therefore not worthy of being voted for. It does seem demonic, but degenerate leftist man with the profile picture of a dog. There are a lot of these for some reason. Celebrating and laughing at the hypothetical existence of Republicans having a temper tantrum over the removal 
over the suspending, over the ending of democracy and the United States, therefore presupposing that it would not be just and righteous to oppose tyrants as they attempt to prevent people from voting for who they want. Degenerate leftist woman, also commonly known for making a fool of herself, decrying the possibility of consequences for ending democracy and the United States, and of course, facing accountability for the evil that the left perpetrates. And that's actually an important feature of Marxism. Leftists hate facing accountability, not just because accountability reveals them as frauds who deny the objective moral landscape, but it also reminds them that they are individuals, a presuppositional axis that, that postmodernism actually denies and is a cornerstone of their incoherent ideology. That being the idea, the nonsense idea, that individual identity doesn't exist. You can see why that would be required in order for them to deny the existence of accountability, because how could you have accountability to an, a single person if an individual identity doesn't exist? And of course, that goes hand in hand with the postmodern neo-Marxist ideology saying that there is only such thing as group identity and virtue should be derived from that identity. All of this you can analyze from a statement as simple as this because of its depraved nature. Demonic account that is recently... Um, actually, as of today, called for the assassination of Trump, which I'll show you later, gleefully celebrating the hypothetical set of events in another state that would lead to the um, downfall of democracy. Demonic Anon account with edited profile picture of Donald Trump crying. The inversion of moral reality, as he says, proud to be a um, Coloradan tonight. Oh, well, I'm posting, uh, posting a gif of a demonically deformed clown. It's important to realize that the woke mind virus is evil. And, it, and what evil does is it perverts truth. That's why leftists take the opposite position of what is objectively true. Stating that the radical left's agenda in Colorado to prevent people from voting for their political opposition has been realized, at least for the moment, and then asking, are you happy about it? Clearly stating that he is happy about the end of democracy. Oh, this degenerate is, is quite something celebrating tyranny and simultaneously calling the people that would vote for the person that he tries to prevent them from voting for stupid. Degenerate leftist, IQ below 100, comparing Donald Trump to Charles Manson. Oh, the degenerate woman facing immense mockery posts a gif of Taylor Swift, another degenerate woman who faces immense mockery. <laughs> Using degenerate femininity in an attempt to mock being called out. It's very, very, it is exactly as archetypal as you would suspect. Proclivity to abide in radical left-wing authoritarianism is predicted by a feminine temperament and low verbal IQ. So this is as archetypally representative of their degeneracy, immorality, and stupidity as it gets. When I saw that, I immediately saved it because I knew that um, that, would, that would be a good one. Okay, here we have degenerate leftist uh, profile picture deranged by the woke mind virus. This one was particularly evil um, because right after the news broke that the left was attempting to end democracy, this picture was going around of uh, Joe Biden wins Colorado, admitting that the left is, is so incapable of making arguments and engaging in the intellectual domain that they resort to tyranny in order to win, and then will state that they are demonically proud of that. Proud of the fact that they engage in tyranny. Proud of the fact that they have no individual identity and aren't able to vet ideas based on their coherence and instead turn to tribal identity politics where they say, if you're not with us, then you're a bad person. And so there is no problem in us exercising power over those we disagree with because we say there's no such thing as power because... We say there's no such thing as competence. That's the reason why we're socialists. We're living through a time where we must confront the evil of Marxist resentment. And this is what it is. It results in tyranny. You have a person celebrating tyranny here. You have leftists celebrating tyranny here. You have the exact same thing here leftists laughing and gleefully reveling in the fact that they would engage in tyranny, laughing about it, that they would engage in tyranny to prevent you from voting for the person that opposes them. Because any person that opposes them is a bad person automatically because they're not a part 
of the ideology that grants virtue, the sole source of virtue being the radical left. In fact, according to them, them preventing you from exercising your will on democracy isn't immoral because immorality doesn't exist. You as an individual doesn't exist because the only thing that exists is the group adherence, group identity with the radical left-wing ideology. This is why you get them posting inhuman things, this demonically, psychopathically celebrating tyranny. This is very important to understand. It's important to recognize that all these leftists are outcasts. They are social freaks. They are, they're not, they're not outcasts as a result of being oppressed or um, unjustly persecuted. They are outcasts of their own design. They hate morality. They hate truth. They hate reality. And so they find membership. They give up their individual identity in order to not be responsible for anything, including their own life. They say, oh, you're offering counterfeit virtue automatically as a result of joining your ideology. And all I have to do is be a pawn in pushing tyranny and immorality and evil. Well, that seems like a fair trade because at least I can, while it's happening, deny that evil exists through my moral relativism installed in my brain via postmodern neo-Marxism. You are seeing the left post tyranny. You are seeing the left post psychopathology. You are seeing the left post the inversion of truth and evil and revel in all of it. And this is, a, this is who they have been all the time. This, this um, s sudden exposure of their nature isn't a new development. It's only new insofar as their psychopathy is allowing them to say now in a calculated manner, we can admit how evil we are. We can admit our agenda because we, we, we smell blood. We sense weakness. We, we can see that, oh wait, we can see that our, we can, we can imprison our opposition. We can see that we can remove them from the ballot. We can see that we can prevent the the enemy, the um, immoral, corrupt enemy being you from holding us accountable forever. We can prevent the immoral enemy of our cult-like ideology of the woke mind virus and Marxism from ever being challenged in terms of power because we, we only see things in terms of power. We've thrown out morality from the start. We've thrown out virtue from the start. We've thrown out coherent, just authority from the start. The only thing that, was, the only thing that remains is power and so we will persecute people in that name of power, because there's nothing besides power. This is how these people that claimed they were operating from oppression were always operating from pathetic, perverted, degenerately feminine weakness. The de and again, the degenerately feminine comes from the fact that proclivity to abide in radical left-wing authoritarianism is linked with a feminine temperament and low verbal IQ. No tolerance for intellectual vetting of ideas based on the mechanisms that reveal truth like logic reason or rationality there's no room for virtue there's no room for anything else besides dogmatic totalitarian adherence to their ideology step against their ideology you're a bad person but remember they're tolerant they want the faces to look different as long as they think the same thing you are witnessing evil and it is is it is an evil that the world humanity has not yet come to identify as evil. In the if you were alive in 1940 before you know before Nazi Germany really took power by conquering most of Europe, the world had not yet grasped that that is what evil could look like. But they learned. They learned that that's what evil could look like. You are now looking at left-wing totalitarian evil, but the world has not yet realized this is what evil looks like. At least not enough people Republicans are asleep. Conservatives are asleep. Leftists and moderate liberals are asleep. Almost all people on the left are asleep besides the radical fringe communist Marxist freaks that hate morality and objective reality and, and hate America and hate themselves. People have not yet realized that this is what evil looks like. Oh, I forgot to mention this one. Here, here we see um, demonic and on account with, with a low resolution depraved name um, in keeping with psychopathology expressing regret that Donald Trump didn't that Donald Trump didn't die the opposition of their party didn't die they're they're hoping for um this is the progression of their evil and and the architecture of the leftist um evil is that they invert reality they're evil tyrants who simultaneously say we are the good guys and protecting democracy while ending democracy. In the name of compassion, we will end democracy. This picture perfectly represents that. It perfectly demonstrates how perverted they are, how dedicated to the inversion of truth they are, 
how they are the tyrants. They are literally trying to prevent you from voting for someone they disagree with. The leader of their, it's not just a random person, the leader of their political opposition. And they say it's to protect democracy, protect democracy because only their ideology, because only their perverse, incoherent ideology could lead to actual democracy. This is, that's how you tell they're psychopaths. That's how you can tell that they're mentally depraved. And of course they reject any type of coherent thought process that would lead you to discovering that, any type of coherent analysis. Again, exhibiting the complete inversion, the, uh, the symmetric inversion of truth. Donald Trump is a failure, saying Donald Trump is a failed businessman when in fact he is a billionaire businessman. Donald Trump is a failure as a president when in fact he was the greatest president and had the greatest economy and people, and America was thriving. The world was in peace. We weren't at war. So Donald Trump was a great president, the symmetric inversion of truth. The next Donald Trump is a failure as a husband. Donald Trump is married to, Donald Trump is married to a supermodel with multiple healthy, happy children who are very rich and thriving and successful. Donald Trump is a failure as a father. The symmetric inversion, Donald Trump is father to very successful, happy, bright, children who are thriving. Donald Trump was a failure as a son. Donald Trump surpassed his father in terms of impressiveness in every metric uh, measurable. Donald Trump is a failure as a human being. Donald Trump is, Donald Trump embodies all the ways these leftists are failures in every way. Leave a heart, leave a like, leave uh, the, the image of love if you agree with this inversion of truth, with this inversion of morality is the final comment. A, a complete embodiment of the inversion of morality and then included a picture celebrating what can only be a window into the depraved destroyed mind of a leftist as they froth at the mouth ho desperately hoping that donald trump will become a poor homeless man rather than a billionaire living in a palace with a supermodel and being a president they are enraged by reality they are evil people and in their de depraved destroyed brains they gleefully wish for tyranny. They gleefully wish for your annihilation. But then we got here. Asking for the Supreme Court to allow for Trump's assassination. Asking the Supreme Court for Biden to allow Trump's assassination and for him to be immune from political persecution. Understand that this message was typed. Understand that this leftist pretending to be a good person, pretending to protect democracy while ending democracy is calling for the leader of the opposition to be assassinated by the current president and thinks this is a good idea, thinks that this is acceptable. These are the animals we're dealing with. We are dealing with people who hate morality and hate truth. The comments, the comments are worse. If the president does it, it's not illegal. <laughs> it's, it's demonic. These people are destroyed. A comic justifying assassinating Trump. Demonic destroyed leftist. I'm 100% in favor of that as long as Biden holds up his end of the deal. If Trump had immunity, Biden has absolute immunity. They're, they're justifying in their mind killing the leader of the opposition. This is exactly like you saw, this is exactly the mental process that Nazis in 1943 had. That you're seeing it. You're seeing how the human psyche justifies total evil right here. If Trump had absolute immunity, Biden has absolute immunity. The abdication of moral frameworks completely. These are people possessed by the woke mind virus here. That will be interesting, especially since while he is in office, he will not be able to be prosecuted for such an offense. Plotting for the assassination of Trump is what this person is doing. Sounds like Biden never has to leave office, says the depraved, demonic, gleeful leftist. It's, a, it's important for you to see the depths of which these demonic animals operate at so that you understand that the woke mind virus destroys people. So you understand that our country is under attack. This is the same virus that is causing complete and total uh, incompetence in government. The hatred for reality is a feature of Marxism. I believe this has to do with the execution of presidential duties. It is a duty to exterminate those who disagree with us, states the radical leftist out of compassion. Suspend elections after Trump's trials. We must, we must legally persecute him in a kangaroo court 
filled with liberals and leftist judges. And then we can have an election. We're the good guys. This is the architecture of leftist insanity. You get the idea. In the postmodern ideology, they say there is no such thing as objective morality, and so they embrace mor moral relativism, and that's how they say there's no such thing as right and wrong. We aren't beholden to right and wrong because right and wrong doesn't exist, the individual doesn't exist, and accountability doesn't exist because the individual doesn't exist. Also, accountability can't exist because for accountability to happen, you would have to engage in the objective mechanisms that reveal the nature of reality in order for you to take accountability for something. And they reject rationality, reason, logic, and mental coherence, the mechanisms that reveal truth. So they reject all the presuppositions, they, they, all the spokes of the wheel that connect a person to reality. They reject all of that. And that's how they exist. That's how they hate reality. It is by design that they isolate the person from all connections to reality, but then that's not enough. Then they have to say, there is, then they have to say, not only do we deny the existence of objective morality and therefore accountability and an individual identity, we will say through utter perversion that we define what virtue is, even though they've already incoherently, even though they've already said that uh, morality doesn't exist, so it's incoherent. They say, we are the locus. We decide what gives a person virtue and what gives a person virtue is adherence to our club, adherence to our cult. And so adherence to the opposite of morality is labeled by them, is labeled virtuous by them. Reality is constantly being revealed by rationality. The world is built on rationality and individual identity and laws. Everywhere they walk, they're reminded that they're wrong. And so what do they do? They say, whenever you encounter rationality, for instance, that is a form of oppression. Whenever you encounter a category which is built on logical thinking and coherent observation of the world, that's oppression. And what do they do? They say when you're oppressed, you're a victim, and being a victim grants you virtue. So when you can feel oppressed, when you can invert reality, then you get to be a virtuous person. And so as these people walk through the world, they constantly see around them reminders that they're wrong, but they, instead of taking that into consideration like a normal non-psychopath would who doesn't invert morality, what they say is, I'm being oppressed by reality itself, therefore I'm a victim, therefore I'm a good person, therefore I must continue to oppose morality in every single way. I must oppose reality, objective reality in every single way conceivable. You want to know if they're being evil, but you also don't want to use Twitter if all you see is this degenerate leftist psychopathology. But at least there are people like me that will analyze it so that they get called out. Because that, of course, is what the psychopath can't stand, being called out and exposed. That's the reason why psychopathology is unstable, by the way, because it gets exposed and ridiculed. It gets pushed into the open air where the frameworks of objective morality can destroy it, judge it, and hold it accountable.